I'm Dennis Noble, Emeritus Professor of Cardiovascular Physiology in the University of Oxford, and I work on the heart. So Dennis, this is a, this is a great place to stop, by these musical instruments. They're lovely, aren't they? Because you can probably guess the question I'm going to ask you. I think you. I know where that you're leading to. <laughs> I'm, I'd just like to talk about the music of life. Right. Because yes. I'm really interested in your motivation as to why you wrote this book to start yes. with. Well, first of all, that if one thinks that life is a process, not just the components, the genes and proteins, then what is the best metaphor for a process? It's surely music. The notes following one after the other in a sequence that only makes sense as a sequence, as a process. So that was one motivation. The other, though, was that it seemed to me that what had happened, roughly speaking, around the year 2000 was that people had realised that physiology was necessary. But they didn't call it physiology, they called it systems biology. So my book is actually about systems biology. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, what it says in effect is that that is what physiology is. What has been the response of the wider community to this? An interesting question there, David. Very interesting question. Because what is it? Seven years after publication, there is still no systematic response. No one has replied. It's as though, you know, you send a message out there and you're still waiting for it to come back. <laughs> I'll have a chat to Richard Dawkins. I think you should, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> On the whole, science has moved in a very reductive way. Exactly. You know, like so. We get down yes. to atomic right. structure now. We've got our exactly. proteins, we've yes. got our genes. We spatially can't go. Exactly. much further. Yes. So, so what do physiologists have to now do? Because it seems to me we have all the bits and pieces out there, but we've, yes. got, to we've got to somehow reassemble them. It is the central challenge of biology, and I think physiology is right in there because it deals with the analysis of function. Function is central to working this out. So really what we're getting to now is how do we define function? Um, well, yes. With very physiology. Big question. With, with physiology. Very big question. We're not very clear about what it means because, on the one hand, we have function that you and I would interpret, for example, as the mechanism of the heart, the mechanism of the pump, the mechanism of the circulation. On the other hand, there's this definition of function that says it's for this, it's for that, and that's why it's evolved. And somehow we have to find a way of bringing those two concepts of function together. In the end, Function is for something, even if there isn't something up there that said it should be for that function, it's still for some function. So there's still plenty of work for physiologists? Absolutely so. We're at the beginning of a very exciting period, is my view. Mm -hmm.